TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, 30 minutes in the trading day. And we got markets starting off to the upside. S&P reaching above 3,000 for the first time intraday. We get the Dow right now up 181 points, trading at 21. 21, 26,965. S&P is positive by 21, trading at 3,000 on the dot right now. That must be the cash. We'll pull up the future in a moment. NASDAQ up 83 points or more than a full percent, trading at 8,224. And the Russell up about eight points, trading at 1571, just more than half a percent. So what happens today? We get, we'll jump over and start it off with the news of the day as S&P 500 above 3,000 for the first time after Powell's remarks go public. He is going to begin speaking right now, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Those remarks becoming public ahead of time. And those remarks hinting to the fact, we'll jump to a couple headlines before we hit the charts. Cross currents are weighing on the economy, so the Fed will act as appropriate. And uh, as we get into that, here we go. So right there, about 8 30 is the bar when those become available. We see the Dow pop from 26,725. We're now at 26,972. NASDAQ 100, quite an acceleration as well. 8.30, we're trading at 78.78. We're now trading 79.46, almost session highs as we speak. There's your S&P 500, made it above 3,000 just after the opening bell. We were down there trading about 29.75. So you're talking about a solid 30 S&P points from where we were just at 8.30 this morning before those remarks became public. Crude oil trading higher as well. We'll get the EIA inventory number today at 10.30, a half hour from right now. We got the API number last night. And you had oil trade from about $58 before that number. We're now up a solid $1.50 from that level, 59.53. Gold contract reacting to Powell's remarks as well as you had gold trading at 1395 at 830 this morning. You see a spike right away up to about 1410 and we're hanging right there at that level 1409. And we also saw some dollar weakness, euro strength, euro at 112.37 and we'll finish it up with a chart of the yield. And uh, do we have it? There it is. We were sitting at 2.1, which is pretty remarkable. Those numbers come out. You've now faded to about 2.065% on that 10-year. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with our man Basil Chapman. Fast market at 11. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, all this afternoon. Have a great Wednesday. It's amazing.